Hi everyone. Uh, today I was working with my uh, pen and my touch screen was um, acting weird because um, my hand was touching it, the screen was resizing. It was really annoying when I was taking notes. Uh, I had the right settings in my control panel but it still sometimes doesn't work as you expect it to. Uh, so to fix this problem, uh, I thought maybe, maybe I can disable the touch screen uh, driver from my device manager. Uh, and of course that works, but uh, you don't want to always uh, go to device manager, find the driver, uh, that's an annoying process and can take long. So I wanted to automate this process. Um, I'm going to share my experience with you and share how you can do this or basically disable or enable any device um, with this handy tool that you're going to uh, write. So let's dive in. So let's find the first time we need to find the device, the touch screen device uh, driver in device manager. Let's start, let's close this and start from the scratch. So I'm going to open device manager. You can also type dev MGMT, doesn't matter. So let's open this. It brings up device manager for you. Let's find human, interfa human interface devices or HID. You might find it faster than me. Let's see. Right there. So I do have a touch screen. So if I disable this or enable this, that triggers the touch screen working or not working. This does not have anything to do with the stylus pen. So I can disable this and still use my pen. Um, but I don't want to use device manager. I want to automatically do this process. How can I do that? Let's open PowerShell as administrator. So hit the start button, type PowerShell, right click on the uh, icon, run as administrator, click yes. I'm telling this because I have a uh, dollar screen and you probably didn't see uh, what I did there. Okay, so now I need to see the list of all devices. If you put, if you enter get PMP device, it would give you all the devices that you have, but who wants to read all of this? That's gonna be um, long and annoying. So how about this? I'm gonna change that command and use a friendly name. I know that it's a touch screen uh, and I saw it actually from device manager, but even if I don't know it, I'm gonna use the wildcard star means like before and after can anything be there so I'm gonna type touch let's see what I get oh I have two so one of them is touch screen the other one is touch pad so I know the one that I want is touch screen if I can type correctly there is only one now I'm gonna pipe that I'm gonna uh, pipe the command I got up over there to get the ID of this device. And that's the next step. This is the key point right here. So you need to know what is the ID uh, for the hardware that you're going to enable or disable. Next step, I'm just gonna copy and paste the command that I have here because it's easier. I have on my notes. So this ID here is coming from up there. I just pasted it and the rest of the command you can see that. I'm gonna open the device manager on the side so you can see what happens when I do this. Bear with me real quick. All right, so we said it is in human interface devices and it is called something something touch screen which is right here so from PowerShell which again I ran as administrator I will run this command and let's see what happens at the left side in device manager 
Similarly, I can just modify this command and say enable. And again, take a look at the left side. So this is, these two commands are basically gonna be all that I need. Um, as long as I do have that instance ID for my driver. So now to automate this step a little more, I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna create a new file. Actually, let's throw in a new folder. So I'm gonna call the folder something, enable, disable, uh, touch screen. Boom. So I'm gonna open this. Um, I'm gonna create a new text document. Uh, if your Windows does not show this extension, uh, you need to go to view and modify it from there to show the extension. I'm not gonna go over that in this video. Um, okay, let's call this enable touch dot bat, which is a batch file. All right, modify it. Let's edit this. I'm gonna copy this one was enable or disable. This is enable. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the enable command. and paste it right here. So, Control S. I'm gonna copy and paste this file and just re rename it to Disable Touch. I'm gonna right click, edit, modify the command, save it. Okay, so far we do have those two files. If I run the disable file as administrator, this is a key again, and hit yes, this is gonna disable it. If I run this one as administrator and click on yes, it is gonna enable it. So, so far we have those two files. I don't want to, I'm, you, can, you can see how lazy I am. I don't want to do uh, anything extra if I don't need to. So what I'm gonna need to do um, to not hit that yes button every time, I'm gonna uh, create a shortcut, either create a shortcut or send to desktop, which is going to create that shortcut for me on desktop. So, this is the shortcut to that actual file that I have. Boom. Uh, right click, go to properties, uh, make sure you are on shortcut tab, go to advanced, run as administrator. Well, actually this is not going to uh, not ask that yes or no, sorry about that. And uh, this is just going to um, you don't have to right click and manually click on run as administrator. So if I click on this, it's gonna ask for yes or no, then you can hit yes or enter. Uh, similarly, you can do the same thing for disable touch button. And that's basically all you need to do. So I hope you enjoy this video and it works for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.